Hi, this is CZ. Uh, I'm the engineer manager of the global search team at GitLab. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about our 15A release planning. Uh, so first of all, uh, I want to mention that we'll have reduced capacity uh, in the next release cycle uh, because of the holiday season. Uh, our main focus will be finish the ongoing work that we started from previous releases. Uh, the first feature I'm going to talk is uh, about improving user search. Uh, we have uh, created the user index and also added the data migrations to backfill the user data in the Elastic cluster in previous releases. In 15A, uh, we'll focus on finishing uh, the last major piece of the work and that's tracked by this uh, advanced user search issue. Um, the next feature that I'm going to talk about is to add a, a filter uh, by programming languages in the code search result page. Uh, it's tracked uh, uh, by this uh, epic. Uh, we have finished the backend work uh, in previous release, and now it's behind the feature flag. Uh, so in 15A, uh, we'll continue with our front-end development. Uh, the next feature I'm going to talk about is to provide an indicator uh, in the code search result when there are uh, multiple matches within the file. Uh, so this is based on our <laughs> uh, user feedback. Uh, so we have a, a issue that's uh, when there are multiple matches uh, in the search results that's uh, within a file, uh, we only show the first match. So uh, this is to give indicators that we tell the users, okay, there are uh, multiple matches in one file. Uh, the front end work may have to wait until we have proper UX design, uh, but we'll start uh, the back end work first in 58. Uh, the next feature uh, is to uh, support a uh, group level uh, wiki search. Uh, we had a proposal uh, for the solution in 15.7, and we will start our development work in 15.8. Uh, the last feature that I'm going to talk about is uh, to evaluate the platform change for the code search. Uh, this is a research project. Uh, it aims at finding a more suitable platform to provide uh, the better user experience of code search. Uh, the next part uh, is the maintenance work that we plan for 15A. Uh, the first uh, will continue addressing uh, the error budget uh, while, uh, violation uh, related issues. Uh, we believe uh, the user search improvement will help on this overall effort and also uh, we we'll also do some improvement for our uh, code wiki indexing SLI. Uh, the next maintenance work we are going to do is to get one uh, gen Ruby 3 compatibility issue resolved. And this is part of our overall Ruby 3 upgrade effort. Uh, we'll also continue uh, our uh, code search or uh, advanced search and code architecture uh, will be uh, continue working on uh, this issue, uh, which is move uh, search controller to using presenter. Uh, also, we'll continue optimizing uh, group level searches for wiki and code. Uh, this is part of uh, our overall optimizing group level searches. Uh, the last maintenance work uh, is to roll out the life uh, index lifecycle management uh, work. And now uh, this feature is behind the feature flag. Uh, we'll plan to start the rollout in the next release. Uh, for the bug fixes, uh, the first one uh, will have some issue to address in our end to end uh, test ex execution. Uh, we'll also address a few uh, security issues in the next release. Uh, for the UX design, uh, because our UX designer, Nick, uh, will be helping with other teams for the next release. So we have to see uh, what we can do for UX design. Uh, the last part I'm going to talk about is uh, technical writing. Uh, so in 15A, uh, we plan the one uh, task, uh, which is to document uh, advanced search migration helper for our developers. Uh, okay, uh, 
That's all I have today for our 58 planning. Thank you for watching.